Welcome to Madame Yasmin, where we glow more every day. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a very simple and a very quick facial using aloe vera, tea tree oil, and some baobab oil. Finish off with some nice natural soap. You can use a very mild black soap for your finishing or you can go with something very mild like a specialized facial soap. I'm on location today at the Green Butterfly Spa. We're located at the Hillbury Resort in the Ibri Mountains. So if you ever wanna get a good plant-based treatment, be it a facial, a good massage, uh, some exfoliation, maybe a clay treatment, check out the Green Butterfly Spa. That's my holistic center located at the Hillbury Resort in Ibri. You can go on our website. I'll put all the links down below. So check it out. And I hope to see you here soon. It's by appointment only. So you have to book an appointment before coming in. Okay, so let's get right to our video. I'm going to be talking today about a facial and I'm going to do it on myself just to demonstrate a quick, quick facial using aloe vera, baobab oil and tea tree oil so we're going to mix the aloe vera with tea tree at the very beginning as a mask and a cleanser at the same time so let's get right to it we're gonna start off with some aloe vera so we're just squeezing out the aloe vera juice from the leaf and you don't need very much of this, just a little bit, just enough to for full coverage on your face. So I have about two tablespoons of the aloe vera juice here. So I have my aloe vera juice here. I'm going to add some tea tree oil, some tea tree essential oil. Okay, so just add about five to ten drops is okay for your face. Um, but if you can take the heat, I'd say 15 to 20 drops. for the aloe vera to dry it's gonna dry on your face tea tree oil feels hot on the skin uh, that's normal so if you feel like a tingling sensation on your skin with the tea tree oil that's perfectly normal um, for people with sensitive skin I would recommend that you use 10 drops of the tea tree maximum in your aloe vera juice okay so that's what's on my face now it's drying up we stuck these black soap jars at green butterfly and what I like to do I like to put a little water in here but since I have a little leftover aloe vera juice I'm going to just put that in here and then use that with the black soap to wash off the aloe vera mask that I have on it's now quite dry on my skin so I'm going to mix that right on top I'll get a bit of a lather and then I can wash my face with that so I'm just Swish the brush around till it starts to lather. So aloe vera juice has a liquid element. It's very, um, it has a lot of water in it actually. So if you put it on the face of your black soap like this, um, it creates a nice lather.
baobab oil i'm going to put that all over my face let it sit for just about two to three minutes and then i'm going to wash it off and apply just a slight amount as a finishing touch so you need to apply enough of the oil and just massage it into your face so I've, I used about a whole tablespoon of oil literally in my hand and just rubbed it all over my face so you can see how much oil is on there I love the way baobab oil actually feels on the skin it really feels nice and you know really silky on, on your skin I love it and um, I'm just gonna keep massaging my face this is very good for firming it's very good for anti-aging okay you can use it under your eyes and just rub it in and massage it in you can do this for as long as you can maybe five minutes if you have the time just keep rubbing and you know massaging this is also a good time for extraction so if you have blackheads and so on you can work on you know extracting and removing whatever blackheads you know that you have on your on your skin on your face and don't forget your neck I've had the oil sitting on my face now for a while you can leave it on for as long as you have time you know 15 20 minutes you can even leave it on for half an hour um, before you actually get it off and the best way to get it off is with warm water what happens is that the oil mixes with the natural oils in your skin and once you use warm water it just you know helps it all to come off all the dirt and all the stuff that's probably locked in to your pores um, so I'm going to use a warm cloth to first get all that off and then I'm going to use my soap for the last step Finally, I'm going back in with my little mixture that I did earlier on. There's still a little bit of the aloe on top. So I'm going to just do my final wash to get the rest of the oil off my skin. And then finally, I will moisturize with as much oil as I feel I need. So depending on how sensitive your skin is, you're going to decide how much of the moisturizer to use at the end if you have acne prone skin i will recommend that you use very little oil just to give it a nice coverage but not too much people with acne don't need too much butter or oil sitting on their skin you just need enough moisture to keep your skin happy but nothing that is going to sit there and create more problems i'm going to just use a little bit of the baobab oil you don't need very much you just need a few drops um, for the face personally i have normal skin um, it tends to get oily sometimes so i don't use too much oil on my face so just a little bit i just um literally dab my finger in and that's all i need so i actually like to dab off any excess oil that I have because I don't really like it but baobab goes in really nice and it sinks in very quickly so 